right, hi, Mark and Melody back in the kitchen again, and uh, we are doing a cashew pepper jack cheese. A blended. A blended mm -hmm. cashew pepper jack cheese. Because you did the one that wasn't blended, so I've got to do one that is blended. One that is blended. Yes, and what I did is I poured about a half a cup of water in here, and I have, I'm going to turn this up a little crank bit. Crank it. I'm going to crank it because two of the ingredients in here are jalapeno and um, red bell pepper or pimentos. Normally I roast them, but if you have fresh, you can always take your jalapeno, and that you want as hot as what you Ooh. want it. I like it hot. And this is fresh red bell pepper, and I'm going to add that to my water, and I'm going to just steam that a little bit because it's fresh, and I don't want to add fresh to something that's cooked. No, I was wondering why you're doing that. That's a whole different concept to be it is a whole different concept. A on that I'm side. just steaming it, kind of cooking it a little bit before I add the agar in here because I want to thicken the agar to put it in here with my cashew uh, cream. Right. Something else a little bit different in this recipe. You don't have to do it this way, but I I like the green olives that you buy even at Aldi's, Walmart. A lot of your stores now carry the ripe green olives in the can instead of the black olives. Mm -hmm. Sure. And they're really low in sodium. I think they're 115 milligrams of sodium per serving of the olives, and I think it's six or eight olives. I want to use this brine instead of adding salt to this recipe, Mark, because I want okay. that real creamy flavor from the olives. Okay, so what do I get to do over here? What you're going to do here is you're going to add your nuts, and you're going to add okay. your brine, and, if, mm -hmm, okay. and a few of the uh, olives and all of the olive juice. So we're doing the olive juice here. Yes. He's got the hard job. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. There you go. Right? That's that's great. Put a couple of those in there. Sure, Just sure. That that added fat, but it's an essential fat. A mm -hmm. little bit of lemon juice, about a tablespoon of lemon juice. We're mm -hmm. <laughs> or more. And we're gonna have a tablespoon of onion powder. Okay. Yeah. And about a half a cup mark of the nutritional yeast flakes. Okay. Which would be four tables, well, eight tablespoons. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, six. And we're never seven, precise. Eight. That's honestly. what I kind of think of as a, you know, that's like two tablespoons, right? If you're doing a heaping, oh, let's do by heaping. theory, yeah. that would you be can, two. In my opinion, you cannot get a whole lot too much on the nutritional yeast flakes. Mm -hmm. Now, it can be a little bitter if you go too far with mm -hmm. it. But for me, have you ever found a point where you had too much nutritional yeast flakes for your cheese sauces no, or your I, cheese flakes? No, popcorn. Mm -hmm. I had it on my toast this morning. I did toast with nutritional yeast flakes. I ate a baked potato that was left over. Mark had made some wonderful twice baked potatoes yesterday for dinner. Yeah. And I'd been traveling from a, a seminar from Cleveland, Ohio. And I came in hungry. I'm always hungry. And he had this wonderful potato. And I opened up the refrigerator this morning, and he had <laughs> leftover baked potatoes. So I had it with lemon juice and nutritional yeah. yeast flakes. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to have to do a twice baked potato for, for you out there because, <laughs> oh. you know, a lot of times I'm cooking for home and we're not even cooking it for a recipe. And then uh, mm -hmm. Brenda or Melody or somebody says, Boy, you should do this for television. <laughs> it's so Everything. Good. Everything but, Mark cooks is great. Yeah, it sometimes. really is. I have not. I have not seen a recipe that you've made yet. I hide those. <laughs> yeah. Well, you must because yeah. I've never seen them because they really yeah. taste Redo good. Redo experiment on those. And, and my all-time favorite is his uh, enchiladas. Uh -huh. And you made with pecans. Spinach. And spinach. spinach. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh, you have you made those yet on TV? Mm, I oh. don't think so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's so... I've he's, got so many recipes. You've got so many recipes. We, we do can go on for 20 hundreds. years mm -hmm. and never come up with the same recipe twice. I mean, you know, uh, all through the years of me cooking culinary in the restaurants, mm -hmm. I have books and books and books. I have stacks me too. of books, that notebooks, you know, that I've written um, from different years and different locations and stuff. When it's I'm amazing. in the airports, uh, when I have time, I'll look online and I look at a recipe and I'm thinking, oh, that looks great. I can make that vegan. And so I sit there and I scribble mm -hmm. doctor's offices if I'm with somebody and I like my mother and I take her to the doctor's office. I will sit there and rewrite recipes out of magazines, come home, cook them. And God is so wonderful, Mark. They're always good. Yeah, usually I can get it right the first time. Once in a while I have to do it a, a second tweaking. or third time. Just a little tweaking. Yeah. Am I blending this up You're going to blend okay. this and I'm going to add my agar in here. And Which, I'm how gonna, much are you doing there? I'm no, going to do tablespoon. a heaping tablespoon of the agar here. Okay. And, and, and my vegetables are right like I like them. Okay, so, so I can go ahead and give fine. this a blend? Go ahead and give it a blend. Okay, here we go. Um.
Okay. How's that look, Mark? Well, when you, you added a little more water to it there, and because mm -hmm. it made it so it was more of a drippable instead of mm -hmm. sticking. Yeah. Good. So. And we want this a sliceable cheese. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you dump those olives in there. Are we going to blend that in here or no? No, nope. we're just going to add it and in. stir it in. Okay. Turn it maybe even on that lower speed if you want to, but we're just going to stir it in well. I'm going to just try it with the scooper here. I'll try it manually, see what happens. Yeah. All right. Good enough. Here. Okay. I'll give this to you. This is all going right in mm -hmm. there? That's all okay. going right in. And there's something else that needs to go in here. I can't remember what. The olives. That's right. You wanted the olives in here. I so. want the olives. Get all that agar out of there. The agar is what we're using here to make it solid. Yeah. And if you can't find agar agar in your health food stores, or um, you can make sure you get the powder. Mm -hmm. uh, Asian food stores. Um, I just pick it up from Amazon. I just go up sure. there and here's that container. Uh, we've done a couple shows. Mm -hmm. uh, $59 for that container. But how long have you had this container? I mean, we really use it a <laughs> At lot. At least a year. Yeah, we, and we use it a lot. Yeah. It's not like something that we use um, mm -hmm. once a month or once a year. We use it quite mm -hmm. frequently. And think about it this way because $59, but you probably only use 59 cents worth in here. And exactly. uh, money wise, how much is this going to cost compared to a block of cheese? I have it really priced this out. Like, yeah, put a bunch of them in there. Like what that? you want? A little more. Okay. I like a little more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, okay. we didn't we didn't put the pimentos in here as a color. We didn't uh, uh, puree them. So we I want this cheese a yellowy, green or you know yeah. that that this type. This would be a fun color. one. It is. It's really. Could good. you put some turmeric in there if you want sure a you little could. Bit yellower color? Sure you could. Sure okay. You so could. what we're gonna do here is um, pour this right into this container. Mm -hmm. So we didn't really give this a blend. No, I, really, I want those pieces in there. I, I've I, really that's stirred, so hopefully it'll be fine. Just like this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like I didn't know. <laughs> like he didn't know. <laughs> is this how you do it? <laughs> he knows exactly how to do it. And folks, I, I really watch my sodium, so I don't like a lot of sodium. If you want more, add that to your taste. But most of my recipes, when I make them, I put optional for sodium. But it's really amazing how, how you get such fantastic flavors. Flavors. Yeah, anyway. you don't need it. Okay. Now, are you, are you afraid to taste that because it might be a little hot or? No, no. 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 Does it have enough sodium for you? It's good. Mmm. Okay. That means it's good when the mmm comes out. You know, you can almost use that like as a Mornay sauce. <laughs> you could. For a hot dish, sure for a spread. Mm -hmm. um, Makes a great cheese too. You probably want to get it a little bit thinner, mm -hmm. you know, for a, for a sauce. For a pourable that you're mm -hmm. not going to be hardened up. Right. So. But okay. That's going to go in the fridge. Um, That's going to go in the fridge for at least two to three hours after it cools. Uh, two or three days. It can last for a couple weeks, probably at least in the refrigerator. It just never does. Okay. So it's I'll already put gone. Put this in the fridge. And That's it. We will uh, see what it looks like in the morning. That's it. All right. I've got another one of these. Ah. Back in the kitchen. We're going to be cheesed out by the end of the week. I don't. Can you get cheesed out? <laughs> We're actually doing a whole bunch of cheeses because we've got a big event coming up this weekend. So we wanted to spotlight all of these. Uh, well, uh, mm, boy, didn't the flavors hit you when you opened that mm. up. This is the one where I used the brine, the olives, and oh, the olive right. juice. So I'm going to do the same thing, just pop same it out Same thing. There. Look look at this. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? Yeah, it's actually kind of a thickness to it as mm -hmm. well. Um, Denseness. So, yeah. Okay, I want to see what it looks like going like this. There's the end piece. That love it. Do. Love it, though. Look at that. Look how pretty. Oh, wouldn't this be Christmas mm -hmm. whenever you're serving oh, some nice. kind of hors d'oeuvres and the people are coming in the door and you have some of this setting around? How beautiful it's is that? It's kind of falling apart here on me. That's probably um, because of all the vegetables we have in it. Yeah. So maybe I should do a cube, huh? I'm going to try cubing it. Um, there's just so much in here. Mm -hmm. There is. I want to taste this one. Mmm. Really yeah, good. I'm wondering. 
I can taste the heat. Yeah. Now, Mark, this one, I did not use salt because I used the olives and the brine in the salt. So it doesn't hit me as real salty, but I do pick up the flavors. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, I would want more uh, uh, jalapeno. Mm -hmm. This isn't as hot as I like, but that's something else that you can judge that yourself. And I like to roast mine. I just think it gives a great flavor when they're roasted. Personally, mm -hmm. I think the flavor is outstanding. It is outstanding. I, think it's I like absolutely the absolutely spectacular. Um, the uh, the problem I see is with the the viewpoint of workability. Mm -hmm. It looks gorgeous, but not mm -hmm. workability uh, for presentation um, for beauty shots. You know, we take all our camera shots and stuff. But if we had it, air, if it looked like that on mm -hmm. a camera shot, mm -hmm. you know, that's probably where we're, that's probably where we're going to run with the camera shot is something like that. Where you're seeing the whole thing right right now i'm over here smiling i'm laughing because as he's cut and i'm eating <laughs> and i but, normally don't do that on camera but this is so good i just yeah. love these things but that's the way we do things we want things to be visually appealing we the visually it has to good. taste good it has to taste flavor good is outstanding i mean this is a 9.9 .9 on the flavor um just outstanding on the flavor the, the workability is the challenge here um and that's mostly because you got all these big chunks in here. That's right. And, and the good thing about it is you control those chunks so you can make them smaller. But that's where people are going to say, ooh, look at there's something so unique mm -hmm. that you'll never see anywhere. Mm -hmm. And that's what's going to catch people's attention. You know, a lot of times I see, I see cheese, uh, people making cheese out there, uh, vegan, but I don't see the beautiful colors and, and taking mm -hmm. advantage of the vegetables we have to use in them. Aren't those the coolest crackers? Those are. Those are. All vegan. You put one like this, right? Is that what you do? Yeah. And <laughs> I put it in your mouth. Hey, Mark, this has been great making these cheeses. Mm -hmm. Hopefully everybody mm -hmm. out there will get busy in the kitchen and make cheese for themselves. And we got more coming. Yes, we do. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.